Yes, yeah, so guys, and welcome to day five of zero to two million in seven days. Now, you may wonder why on earth have you not seen an episode for a few days uh, if it's a daily road to glory. That's really, I haven't been playing FIFA. As you guys know, uh, obviously the weather's been quite nice in the UK and I've had family down for Easter and good, you know, Monday or whatever it is. So uh, I've basically taken two days off and then I also spent one day doing uh, a little bit of recording for uh, Tom's team takedown, which you can check it out. Uh, and as a result, didn't do too much on the account. So I think it's actually like day nine, but we just haven't been doing anything on the account. The only thing I've done is maybe like invest in a few things at 6 p.m. But it's probably plus 200k um, as if I, as if I wasn't to do anything. And uh, with the 800k loss we took on the English players, I can kind of vouch that. Hey you! Would you like some cheap and reliable coins? Well don't worry, because I've got your place. Make sure to head over to FIFA Coin Zone Hot Swaz Lad. Dot com and use the discount code FLAIR for 2% off. Or, what you could do, which is a little bit more reasonable, is use your Amazon Prime or 4 99 subscription over on my Twitch channel. Now you may ask, why would you want to do that? That's a pretty good question. I've got you sorted. Basically, you get a daily trading guide. And what if I've got some questions? Twitter, Twitter DM, Twitch DM, email, business email, you name it. Thanks for watching and make sure to enjoy the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk you through over the last few days because I've done a little bit of 6pm investing, nothing too mad. Uh, and I'll just walk you through it day by day by day, what I bought, why I bought it, yeah, so much I made on it, all the way up until uh, yesterday. And then uh, we'll carry on as in normal, as in what I bought for yesterday, 6pm, and the trading I did. So we are going to be starting off with the Saturday and walking you through what happened. So on Saturday... EA released as the daily SBC, uh, I think it needed two Bundesliga players, a 79 rating and 85 chemistry. There wasn't anything too mad to invest in, I think Bundesliga left backs did pretty well, Bundesliga left mids I also presume would have done well. But when these uh, SBCs come out you always want to look what the reward is, because these SBCs can get mass done and as a result of them being mass done, you're going to see the rewards flood in the market. So let's say for example they drop an Electrum pack, you're going to see Silvers flood in the market, let's say they drop a UCL SBC pack, you're going to see UCLs flood in the market, and in this case it was a UCL pack. In this one you've got two non-rares and one rare, so what we decided to do is try and pick up some uh, UCL players. And the UCL players I already made a little list for because uh, these guys are good for SBCs. So for example, for an uh, Politown, not only are left wing, 83 red left wings probably about 4 or 5k in the first place, just due to it being a position where there are a lack of high rare players, but um, also Politown has actually had a position change, which is the more important thing. This guy uh, used to be a left wing non-rare, then was upgraded to an 82 rated um, right, uh, right wing. So he's, he's had a position change. Now, he was actually the only left wing for Inter Milan other than Ivan Perisic. Now, surprisingly, you're not going to use Perisic in the SBC, uh, Inter Milan SBC. So as a result, this guy ends up getting used in the Inter Milan SBC. So I know that I can buy him for 5k, hold on to him for a few days. And honestly, he's going to be hitting about 8, 9k, even without being needed for a premium SBC, just due to people doing the uh, Inter Milan League SBC, which is brilliant. Now, the second things I started picking up was players like Gulan. Uh, what are they? Gulam, Hassan, Grimaldo, and so on. And the reason these guys are really good is, let me throw this little example there. Let's say Florenzi. Florenzi's so late in the game where he's kind of just SBC fodder. So we can look up Florenzi as an 82 rated character at right mid and see that he's about 4k because he's using SBCs. Well then we can go look at Hassan and arguably he doesn't have as good a links because of not having the Roma and the uh, Italian links. But he's still an 82 rated character at right back. And he's in about 2k and below. Now that's half the price of the other 82 rated right back from the couch away. Uh, so as a result, what you could do is you could pick him up and theoretically he'd make it into cheap scenarios. Uh, which he does, you know. I say he, even without a premium SBC, he'll rise anyway due to just obviously offering quite decent chemistry. Being a right back with really good links and obviously there are a lack of high rated right backs. So those are the sort of players I was picking up. As I say, I made a pre predetermined list knowing, basically looking at, okay. Here's basically, I'd look at, alright, so Forenzi's going for 4k. Any cow trade right back UCL, you know, of the same rating, 80 rated, I'll be able to buy for like 2k. I'll buy it for half the price, so it's risk free. So that's like the Salco, Hassaj, and I think that's uh, that's all it is. And then another example, you look at, okay, 83 rated Porto uh, Felipe, he's 3k. Okay, whether well, I'll buy 83 rated UCL Jardel, because again, he's a Brazilian league and centre back. So that is it for uh, the Saturday. What we are going to move underway is the investing we did on the, and investing in trade we did on the Sunday. So now on the way with Sunday's SBCs. Now Sunday's SBC I think was a very generic SBC that just made you use a UCL rare or non-rare. Now they didn't madly supply I guess the market of UCL rares and non-rares. So what I decided to do was go through every single major league. So that's the Premier League, the Catchway, the Bundesliga, the La Liga, 
Um, and I think I maybe ended up going to the league and lost in the Super League. I went through them one by one by one, just picking up any UCLs I could get for 1k. Uh, these players did end up going to about 1.8k, so they did do pretty well. I was also, and still holding on to the UCL, as you would have saw me by the, uh, the day before. But yeah, so what I decided to do was I decided to go out and buy any major league UCL I could get for 1k and under, and then decided to flip them again later that evening for about 1.8k, probably about 1.6 to 1.8k a card. Again, I'm not making anything mad. I think I probably would have made like 70 to maybe 120k, just to give you a little uh, little ballpark. So again, the reason I bought that is because the UCLs weren't madly supplied the day before. I guess they did drop a fair few of them, but um, yeah, as you can see on the market, you know, 1k and above, UCLs for 1k and below, you know, they weren't on the market for uh, for too long. They literally gave it like two, three minutes and there were none on the market. But that's what I'd always recommend. If EA were acquiring UCLs and the supply isn't too mad, especially as we're doing a road to glory on Xbox, and as you guys know, the uh, the market on Xbox is uh, is dead, for put it, uh, to put it politely. Um, yeah, decided to go out and pick up loads of them. So that's what happened on the Sunday. Nothing else interested. Now on to what happened on the Monday. So this is being the last day I'll be doing a little bit of commentary on. And then you'll be back to, uh, I guess, me talking uh, me talking live commentary. So this was actually one of the best days. This was Monday's SBC, um, which was literally where you needed a 82 rated 70 chem team. Now, as a knowledge, as having knowledge on a uh, high-rated players doing, uh, I guess, very, very well recently. I say high-rated, I mean like 83s and 84s. I knew that 82s would be the play because anything 82 and above was super expensive. Now, again, having a past knowledge that left mid was super expensive, uh, I decided to go over to them. Uh, looked at the likes of Judas, who was up loads because, of course, we had the, um, I think it was the Judas team of the knockout stage uh, SBC, which made Valencia players rise. So I decided to pick up loads of Tysons for about 2k. Tyson went from 2k to about 4.5k, which is really good. I then presented to buy pick up loads of centre backs because there was a three at the back, uh, including the likes of Len in Lenga, including the likes of Bartra, including I, th I think that's about it. Maybe picked up like a Garay or two, but uh, but yeah, that was about it. And then I decided to pick up loads of uh, 81 rare left wings just because I knew that 82s were expensive, 83s were expensive, so I did move over to 81s, which include the likes of Morales, uh, Vitolo, and the likes of Valbuena. And again, the reason I picked these up is because they just needed quite a high chemistry team. Uh, also an 82 rating and knowing that anything basically 83 and above was already very expensive. So uh, yeah, oh yeah, I also picked up some Fazios and uh, Murakanos, but they're, yeah, they were very expensive in the first place. As I say on Xbox, here's where the benefits of Xbox come along. Players rise fast. The negatives, if you have coins, you you know, your investments you can make, they, you know, they're, not, they're not around for too long. As, as I say, stuff rise fast because there's a lot less stuff in the market. Which means when people are all buying the same sort of player, you know, they get rarer faster. But yeah, that's what happened on the Monday. We're now going to be cracking another way the Tuesday with all of the live commentaries. So we're basically going to be carrying on today as if it was day five. Again, I haven't really done too much trading the last few days. Just been uh, doing a little bit at 6pm. So I guess I'll walk you through where the, uh, the current stage of the account is. So what I've done is we've sold a lot of the silvers we would have bought a few days ago because uh, they dropped electrums. Whenever EA drop electrum packs, definitely stack your club with silvers. Um, and then on top of that, what I've been doing is in yesterday and today, I guess yesterday's SBC and a day, SBC a few days ago, they released a bunch of uh, UCLs. So I went and picked up 81 plus UCLs because of course these guys dropped as a result of the 81 plus SBC that is out at the moment. So at the moment we just got these on the relist. Trying to sell my silvers on at a, uh, at a pretty decent rate as well because I do think they'll drop electron packs because of um, we haven't seen electron packs in the last few days. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is current stage in the club. We have sold a few players on. As I say, we did take like a 700k loss of the English players, which was pretty hefty. So, uh, yeah, basically making back for that. And, uh, yeah, that's where we are. So, again, just been slacking up the club recently. What will probably crack underway, give you guys a few SBCs. Because uh, I don't think I'll be doing too much training before 6pm. Uh, because we don't know what EA is going to drop. If that's going to be electron packs or more UCLs. So, obviously, I don't want to do some UCL trading. EA drop UCLs and they go down. Or, I also don't want to do silver trading. Them drop silver electron packs and they go down. So, uh, yeah, what we'll probably do is we'll probably do a few SBCs between now and 6pm. And, uh, yeah, we'll show you the result of that. So, we're back underway with uh, the commentaries for the 6pm investing. So, in Tuesday's SBC, which is uh, yesterday for you guys, uh, basically all you needed was two counter trade plays, eight golds, and a maximum of two from the same nation or something like that. Which is actually a really, really awkward requirement. Um, because, of course, you know, two from the same nation and getting 70 chemistry basically implies you're using one league. Uh, and because, of course, you need two counter trade, basically what I decided to go for was uh, counter trade players from odd nations in uh, in positions where there's not too many players. So the first thing I went for was going to be left mids from the counter trade, because I know the left mids from the counter trade are slightly lacking. So I'm going to pick them up to a K. Uh, and then I moved on to centre backs just because it's a three of the back formation. And again, if you can use a maximum of two, um, two players from the same nation, I was just looking for randy nations. No uh, no Italians, I was just picking up like Bosnian Hertigay, Senegalese players, Cameroonians. 
and uh, and all that jazz. So yeah, I was picking them up for 1k. I don't think I did uh, too much more at 6pm. I think I had a little gander at silvers, because as I said earlier, when you're uh, dropping like electron packs, you're looking for silvers. So uh, yeah, that's what we bought. What we'll be able to do is we'll be able to catch up and uh, show you what we sold and uh, yeah, more of the silvers we bought. Okay, so as you guys would have seen, the League SBCs dropped now in, or not League SBC, but the Daily SBCs dropped, and I'm actually in no hurry to sell those uh, players I bought, because I think they'll probably age a little bit better if I just hold on to them, especially the UCLs. So, what this was, what this does drop, as you guys can see right here, is a Prime Electron Pack. Now, there actually seems to be more money half the time investing in the, uh, what the rewards drop in price, rather than, uh, what's needed. So, obviously, you have a Prime Electron Pack that is 6 gold, 6 silvers, half them being rare. Well, as a result of flooding silvers on the market, combined with loads of people doing the League SBC, this means that these silvers are going to drop, uh, at the beginning, because lots of people opening the packs and all trying to undercut at the same time. But we know that they're going to rebound very fast, because lots of people are doing the League SBC, so there's high demand for them. So what we'll probably do is, in about, we're about 20 minutes after the SBCs come out, I'll probably give it another 10-15 minutes, allow these silvers to drop a little bit more, I have a list of what they go for, again, this is just stuff doing the silver method, and I'll just go and buy a bunch, I'll fill up my transfers, fill up the club, maybe even go a little bit on the other side, and then I'll probably sell them tomorrow, sell them tonight, but again, because everyone's in the League SBC, these should rebound so, so fast, so there's always one thing I'd recommend when they drop League SBCs, is you want to see what, first off, what they want as requirements, but the second thing is going to be, what do they give as a reward? Because whatever they give as a reward, it's normally flood in the market because everyone's trying to undercut each other because they're in a panic to sell them. Especially at the current point where silvers are worth quite a lot of money. So what we're doing right now is we are just going through, uh, basically doing the silver method. But of course, a lot of these guys have crashed as a result of um, as a result of them dropping the Electrum SBC in the daily SBC. Because daily SBCs are normally quite cheap, and especially as they're only up for 24 hours, it's normally quite a fast pressure to do them. So you see a lot of players will drop, so it's an amazing time to go and do the, elect uh, the silver method because... Give it like a day or something, and these guys will read back, back to what they normally are. So what we're doing right now is we're just going through a list of expensive silvers, just like how we do on the silver method, and just trying to get ourselves some good deals. Now, we've got some good deals in this left wing earlier. Let's see if there's anything good. Because the normal going selling rate of these, I said I'm just going to refer to a list I, I do have, uh, is 5k. Now, 4k is okay, but I kind of want to get them like 3.5, because you kind of, at that point, you want to be making a little bit more money. Then move over to left back. So now I say, you just want to go for them one by one by one, and theoretically, right now, they should be quite cheaper. Eh? Uh, moving on to centre mid, 3-5, so let's see what there is. 2k and below is ideal. Okay, so you want to switch it to silvers. Anything? No, nothing at the moment. Interesting because it's not madly flooded, but again, as we as we know, the League SBC method at the moment is super, super popular. So we've got strikers. Oh, there you go. Then we're going rates about 3-5, so yeah, as you can see right there, 3-5 only as of, uh, as of them being released recently. And again, this works for every single league. I normally pick the Liga and La Liga and Bundesliga because they're the uh, the consoles, uh, not consoles, but the leagues I'm uh, safest with and I, I kind of know the market very well, so I know how long it takes them to fluctuate in that lot. But um, yeah, of course, you can use any league with their own league SBC. You've got to basically know what the silvers are going for before they drop these, which is always why if you allow like the market to settle, then is a good time to go and write up a list of players because, you know, the market's pretty settled right then. So we're going to end off with uh, Toulouse and uh, see if there's any good deals. So we'll go silver... That's so it, we gotta know is uh, what they're going for. So left backs. And there we go, so we should be able to get ourselves a good deal. That card's only been on the market for 40 seconds, going for 1.4k. And the next sheep's on the market right now. I could even sell him instantly for profit, but I might hold on to them tomorrow. Now there's one there for 1.9, but pretty easily I should be able to sell him for 2.5, because I'd say all it takes is three cards get bought, and boom, mine's the cheapest for 2.4k. So there is never, never, unless the only time there's a hurry to sell silvers, I'd say, is if you need coins or if you need room on your transfer list. Because uh, if you need room with your transfers, obviously you're in a hurry to sell them. And if you need coins, you're obviously in a hurry to sell them. 2-9, not a bad one as well. Normally can get about 4k for him pretty, pretty easily. So we'll go list that guy up. And there's one last position with this team, which is the center mid, which normally do get the uh, the English center mid, which is bus stock. Good thing about this, rather than the one we had earlier this week, was uh, the one we had earlier this week was just rare silvers. Whereas this one is uh, rare and non-rare silvers. So it does put a little bit more supply. Uh, it's okay, as you can see, there's literally... What, one, two, three for four, four, and then he becomes very, uh, very expensive and very pricey. So, there you go, pick him another boss stock right there. And, uh, theoretically, I could pick that one for three, five. But that's just showing you a little bit of how I get the deals. I will be doing a little bit more of this, but, uh, I guess not showing you me picking the deals, because obviously that get a little bit boring and strenuous. But that's basically what we're doing to pick up the deals, and, uh, now what I'm gonna do is proceed on to some other leagues. Okay, so we are gonna wrap up the ever so eventful day five. So, uh, with some of the silver deals we did manage to get. So, we, uh, we've actually managed to get loads, and it's actually, uh, the morning after, just because I didn't record too much stuff. Uh, but we did get a few of these cards last night. So you can see we picked up all these, got this guy for 1 5, should sell for 2 5, this guy for 2 5, should sell for 4, this guy for I think 4 5, should sell for 6. All of the, I got loads of these right backs all under um, 2k, should sell for 3.5. He should sell 3 5, got all of these under 3, should sell for 4.5, got him for 1, should sell for 2. 
And uh, yeah, I got a few of these for all under 1.6k. Should send them all to 5 and another send them in. Jones to the club because I actually did send a bunch of the dills we got to the club. But uh, there's a brilliant little thing if you guys don't know where you just press in um, the three lines on the Xbox. Basically, it's whatever the, uh, the right button is on your uh, in the center of your remote and you basically go here to newest and basically can show you the deals which are all the deals we literally got just sent to the club though so again we got these under 2k should, should be a seven for about three five got this guy for two seven should be a seven for about four to five k got this guy right here for uh, two five should sell for three five this guy for one four should sell for about two five uh him for one should sell for two and i think that's all she wrote imagine i would have bought a few of these last night as well right yeah one seven should be a seven for about four k that was a really good pickup him for 2-5, just sell for easy 3-5 to 4. And uh, yeah, a bunch more of these cards I would have to presume we did pick up last night. So yeah, not too uh, not too shabby on the front of getting deals. And again, that comes as a result of them dropping election packs and silvers getting cheap. So, as I do apologise about me not being uh, too regular with this, but you understand, if I take a day off, you know, it's shifting a thing. And as I took two days off, obviously it shifts it even further along. So uh, thank you very much, guys, for being patient with this series. As a... So it's looking okay. We've got to do some some madness in the next two days to pull out the bad. But uh, I said I'll work very hard on this one, and um, you know, because at the moment we have a we have a two for two in loss rate. Although arguably I really call the first one a loss. But yeah, thank you very much for watching uh, this episode of Zero to Two Million in Seven Days, and uh, we shall see you guys tomorrow with another episode back onto the daily episodes. But thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.